Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't given me a thumbs up for a like and a subscribe, you'll get notifications about all my future videos to come. So this particular episode is about a panic attack that I started to get. It wasn't even a full-blown panic attack. It was just insane, crazy, like really bad anxiety. And I know what was bringing on, like what was triggering it. And it was just something that I was out of my complete hands and my situation. It was just something that I couldn't avoid, but it was, it had been building up. And the fact that I had a complete a strong coffee that day uh, it that brought it on so I decided to give up coffee so we're throughout this vlog I'm going to show you bit by bit about what I was doing to help me while I was giving up my coffee because it is you know coffee is a drug and it is an addiction as well and also about other things like nutritional foods that I implemented into my diet to also make sure that my serotonin and endorphins and happy hormones are all at a really good level in America they're very readily to prescribed diazepam for anxiety when you have you know an attack or anything in Australia it's very very hard to get and even in saying that I wouldn't do that anywhere when I can to treat things holistically and when I know I know I know when I'm getting anxiety because I do suffer from anxiety then when I get it like I know what to do I know be aware of your own self and everything so I know my own self when I'm starting to get like that and what I need to do to like fix myself so this was so about this vlog that you're gonna actually see how I was at the very start and how I am at the end so keep watching And today, dear friends, is the day I decide if I am going to do the chop or not. Eating, but I do need to eat something. So anyway, I'll see you in later when I get out of here and my new hair. So I thought I would put the anxiety one and the hair one as separate vlogs. I'm pretty open about the fact that I do suffer from anxiety and you know being a businesswoman, being a student, just being like you know I take a lot on in my life like I like to really challenge myself and be over committed to things and then you know really just go 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 and on the weekend I was suffering anxiety quite a bit like it was it was quite prominent but I just you know dealt with it. I thought it was because on Saturday I had quite a bit of coffee and I thought that that was the reason why. Oh, I'm still feeling a little anxious and a little tense. I'm definitely cutting out the coffee completely. I'm just gonna go to a tea with a bit of almond milk, and, but because it metabolizes differently to coffee, I've never found that tea gives me anxiety at all. I can't have it on an empty stomach because it makes me nauseous, but that's completely okay. Um, you know, I just find because it is alkaline, unlike coffee that is acidic, I don't get the anxiety from it, but it does give me a bit of the caffeine hit. And if I do have it with a bit of almond milk, especially if it's like full fat almond milk, like it will, you know, it'll be nice. And that's what I used to drink in America because the coffee in America is so bad. I actually switched to tea and I didn't have as much anxiety. Actually, I don't have anxiety all in America at all. So I'm completely cutting out coffee completely now. I'm just going cold turkey as of tomorrow. So I'm gonna update you guys day by day about how I go cutting out the coffee completely and how my anxiety is going as being cut, uh, cutting out from my coffee. But I also got, cause I don't have much of an appetite when I am having bad anxiety, which I'm sure it's gonna all go back to normal, but it have some like nuts and those so, and bars and stuff because it is something, it's not really, I had another mixed nuts salted nuts which was the salt in it will have sodium and the, the, you know it's really high in fat so it's quite got a high lot, high amount of calories in there um, anyway even though it doesn't really like feel like there's a whole bunch of food that's sitting in my stomach and then I got some cherries and cherries are really low in sugar so cherries and berries are really really low in sugar and I can make like some like protein smoothies like in the blender so I can just like drink on that you know because I do need my energy and my and a certain level of calorie intake every single single day in order to sustain my muscle mass and my bones and my overall health even though I feel like just not eating. Today is day one of coffee. It's not like just a mental health issue. What it is, is the body's response. To, it's the fight and flight response to the fear and the, the nervousness about what is going on in your mind. So when your mind thinks about something and it's usually a fear about something that could happen in the future, it may or may not happen. It's a pesky thought that goes into your mind. Your body has this miraculous way of protecting itself. So your body just kind of, the nervous system 
you know, goes into overdrive to protect yourself from that fear that may or may not even happen, right? So that's what an anxiety attack is. And it pretty much just like escalates and escalates and escalates. Now, there are ways in which like I can prevent it on the day such like I knew that it was coming on and I knew what it was happening throughout the day. So I made a specific effort to go and get my hair done, you know, so I was in like out with people because being out with people is one thing that really helps me rather than just sitting at home by myself when then I just get sunk into my own train of thoughts like I couldn't you know I meditated and you know it helps while you meditate even though I can take myself to it at like a deeper level than what I wanted to but for me it's like I really just need to go outside and be just even with people around me so today is day one of coffee I have made myself a black English breakfast tea it is a weak tea just only one bag in there and I did keep the bag inside Tea is alkaline, it's not acidic like coffee as I have explained in the earlier in the earlier parts of the video. I'm feeling completely fine. Look, I, I do feel myself a lot better than yesterday. However, I do know that if I was to have coffee today, I would have anxiety like I did yesterday. Now I'm gonna go to a workout. So a workout is also really, really good for boosting you know everything with my tea so this will be really interesting because usually my coffee is my pre-workout. It is because I don't do pre-workouts except for AMPV and so that's just that so mm, giving up coffee I think it's not going to be that hard you know I've done this quite a few times and it's usually this time every year and what I know that it is, is I build up a tolerance throughout the year to coffee so that I need more and more and more of it to give me the same effect. And then by having more of it, it just puts me into a jittery, that kind of a mode, right? Like everything gets heightened, my nervous system gets, you know, heightened and I need to shut down the nervous system by meditating, which is kind of counteractive as to what it does. So by having a coffee cleanse, it means that I'm basically gonna reduce my tolerance to the caffeine and therefore later on I can start at maybe, you know, a weak coffee instead of two strong coffees throughout the day that'll essentially give me anxiety. So tea time, discover sharks via free stainless steel straw set. going to go do some grocery shopping with some food and some food choices that are have macronutrients in them which are really really good for helping depression and anxiety such as oats and I'll tell you all about them and not gonna be a good day of coffee. I honestly, my alarm went off at five. I did some hypnosis until six where my alarm went off because my alarm goes off at six, but my body clock wakes me up at five anyway. 
So I honestly was thinking like, oh no, I'm really, really feeling the effects of having no coffee at all yesterday. But I got up, I have my thyroid medication. Today I have to go to work, so I'll be there for a half day at the office doing things, which means also I will be training of the afternoon. And if you know about me, my hormones and my body and just being a morning person in itself with my DNA, I am a morning person. I need to get up and go. And even when I was a swimmer, I had to like, I work up at five and went training and I, that was like I was up ready to go let's go training you know like I'm just at a, at a peak of the mornings and in the afternoons I go into a lull so yesterday I did go into a bit of a lull in the afternoon and I was really craving that afternoon coffee hit I did have a tea it wasn't quite the same and then immediately though like the strangest thing probably why I got tired is my body I had like I was really awake last night. Yes, I was editing the vlog, but I was really, really awake and alert. And I was actually, I had something going through my mind and I was a bit anxious and I was a bit tense because like I'm a thinker and I'm an analyzer and I overanalyze everything. And this is what like contributes to me getting anxiety. And there was something that was on my mind. I was even trying to do my hypnosis and my mind just not, would, would not switch off. Like it was just going ding, 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 ding about this particular thing, right? And to the point that like I was like no I looked at the time it was 11 p.m. I'm going no this is ridiculous I've been trying to fall asleep for an hour which I don't get insomnia at all I was just like it's too much going on in my mind that I do need to like completely flush that it's not going to help the situation at all this cropped jacket is also by Chic so I put those together slightly different fabric styles but what I particularly love about this label is you can wear it from day to night the quality is really good it's really sophisticated they even do things that you could wear for like weddings and stuff and nights out I don't know I just they, they've been one of my favorite brands for a very 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 long time like I have stuff of theirs that even I've had like in my early 20s great this thing completely in check I feel great and I think also because like I had this is the first week in my new job that I kind of have this a bit, a bit of like an adrenaline rush as well going on with it I'm just like so the two tea, all I've had is the two cups of tea I've just got back from the gym that's why I'm looking a bit shabby and I feel completely fine I think the adrenaline from my new job this week gave me the energy that I needed to go train a late afternoon training session today also because actually technically speaking it's better to train in the afternoons or weight train in the afternoons because your testosterone levels are higher so but it's just like I'm just more of a morning person so you know what I really think that I've got like this whole you know giving up coffee thing a lot better so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check in with you after one week's time and by that time like it'll be yeah day seven of my no coffee and by that time all the caffeine will definitely be out of my system by then and I'll be able to give you an update about why I'm doing this, the experiences I had every other time that I've done this, and just a bit more about coffee and anxiety. Today has been one week since I have been completely caffeine free. Actually, that's a lie. Completely coffee free. Feel like a free woman. Honestly, it's such an amazing feeling to not be addicted to something. And when I say I'm addicted to something, like, yes, I was addicted to coffee. Coffee was my thing. Coffee was my like go-to thing for like energy and alertness in the morning to the point that throughout a year, and I usually go off at about this time every year, and then I build up this big tolerance that I need more and more. It's like, you know, a little coffee, a weak one will do the job, and then after a while you need a strong one, and then once you reach that level of like a really strong one or more strong ones, then it's kind of like, the, when it wears off it gives me anxiety and that's what happened I have gone off at other times another time I went off completely was before I was going to America and the coffee in America is like it's really really weak and it's not great at all so the fact it's just gross like it no offense guys the food in America is great but your coffee sucks it, there is like nothing compared to Italian coffee in Italy or in Australia then nothing else compares and unless you've been here and you know what it's like like you I can't even explain to you it's like nothing compared so don't even think it's like what you got over there like it's not so um so when it gave me this about of anxiety I was like no I really need to like give up again another time I gave up because 
can't remember what it was doing. It was just like not an even anxiety thing. It was just like suddenly I would have a coffee, even if it was a decaf coffee, and I would start to get like, I don't know, it felt like I was going to faint or like it was just the weirdest sensation that it was doing to me at one particular point. What I do know about the body is that the body is constantly changing. It, your hormones are constantly changing and coffee is a hormone altering drug. Like all other drugs, it alters your hormones, just that this particular drug is legal, right? So. When I gave up the coffee, like last time I've given it up, it has been difficult to give it up, except for that time that it was making me like really, I don't know, like dizzy. I felt like I was going to faint every time I was having it. That was two years ago. Last year I cut back to one week one per day. Didn't give it up cold, like completely, completely. And every other time I've given it up, I've kind of had like really bad withdrawals. Like it's been really difficult for at least the first five days. This time, however, I don't know. Do you know what? I honestly believe that has changed and made it so much easier this time. And I actually believe that one of the reasons that it has, that I've completely gone off it and it did give me that anxiety was because of the hypnosis. I'm currently doing a hypnosis and that one is just to like, it's to alter my, my state of thought and to just be, you know, a bit more healthier. Not that I'm already healthy enough as it is. But when I don't, when I say if I'm being healthier, like my coffee is a dependent, like I would have it at ritual, like it was like a ritualistic, had to be at this time, you know, every single time. And I don't like to be completely living that kind of life. Like being, a de being dependent on anything is not a nice feeling. Don't do drugs, don't do alcohol, no longer don't like, don't smoke cigarettes, absolutely not. And now I don't drink coffee. Like to be dependent on anything for me is just like the worst feeling. So I actually just think that honestly by doing this hypnosis, it was my mind's train of thought to tell my body to put it into like a reaction to kind of get rid of, like to make me just not want it anymore because this time it's been completely easy. Admittedly, I have been having tea and I do have a double, um, tea and it's not even an English breakfast. I do have the tea that's by Narada. It's from Australia. It's um, rainforest allegiance and also is grown without any pesticides. So it's kind of like on par with an organic tea, if you must say. Uh, so I have been having that just to give me a little bit of a advice. But a tea has a calming effect on me. Tea in no way makes me anxious because it's alkaline, it's not acidic and it digests through the body in a completely different way. So that's how I help myself with my own anxiety without drugs and you know, in a completely drug free way. And also that you too can give up coffee or any other substance that you might be addicted to because you know you might be addicted to something else I don't know but it is possible if you put your mind to it that yes definitely if you don't want that in your life anymore it's gone it's gone you just have to think that it, yeah it's gone 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 and I'm so happy no more coffee not only am I going to save money right like I'm going to save maybe some days like ten dollars a day on coffee that's a lot and, and I like make coffee at home. I mean, who knows? Look, in the future, I might go back on it. But the beauty of it, like giving up coffee is that when you give up and you go back, you can go on a really weak one rather than a strong one. And a weak, like a weak coffee is not going to have like adverse effects than a really strong coffee. Anyway, guys, thank you. And I wish you all the best with your cleansing or your dietary changes in your life to live a happy and healthier you. Ciao.